Before I start getting um, ready for this video, um, I actually was looking for a solution on creating your own Cricut mats or um, refreshing my Cricut mat. So after long searches and um, finding solutions, I haven't found anything that popped out on the internet. So I guess this is kind of the first of its kind. So I hope you guys find it um, useful and I hope you guys try it out and um, you'll be surprised how much money you will save in the future by doing this and if you're a cricket lover like I am you would definitely find this helpful um, so stay tuned hey youtubers um, welcome to my channel if you're new and if not welcome back um, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about our cricket mats and as you can see my cricket expression is ready to go there <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do a short little blurb um, it might not be short because I tend to talk a lot and ramble so about our cricket mats and um, this is actually a wonderful trick I just started doing and I think I'm gonna continue doing because I am tired of wasting my money on these cricket mats so as you can see I have my cricket mats here um, all we all know um, the cricket mats get you know not as sticky or at all after um, a lot of use or anything like that and we all know how to refresh our Cricut mats I personally use the Tacket over and over um, as you know that I just uh, purchased this to um, experiment with and I would love it so instead of the 50-50 um, ratio 50% glue 50% water I do the 60 to 40% glue rather or 70 to 30% glue and I find it a lot better to work with um, it takes a little bit longer to dry but it's still under half an hour it's dry but it works wonders um, but you know even if we do retack our mats and stuff like that over time they do get w worn out as you can tell from my uh, Cricut create mat it's it's worn out you can tell it's a lot of deep cuts from experimenting especially when I first got it but still works fine but you know over time you it's not really nice to look at but um, I mean it's very easy um, if you guys look up the tutorials for the tacket over and over it's really easy to apply I just mix the solution I put it in a little container and it stores for a long time and you save a lot of money and you use one of these brushes to brush it on to your mat and let it dry and set and then you tax it a little bit by doing this to make it less sticky so I actually have a solution instead of buying new mats um, you can make your own mats and by making your own mats it saves you a lot of money and I'm not going to show you how to make it but if you guys want a video of how to make it I can show you but um, this is actually my um, version of the Cricut mat and all I used was a good uh, placemat and this placemat in particular is from Ikea and it was actually on clearance for 25 cents and you can actually get the other ones that are clear and they work just as well so um, the great thing about this is that you can pick any pattern you want any size you want you can cut it down if you need to and um, just use it again and if it gets worn out, you just throw it out and you just make another one. And my whole Cricut mat that I made cost me under like 50 cents or 75 cents, um, which is fantastic. All you need to have on hand is the tacket over and over and a little container, some water, and a brush. And of course, the placemat. So all I did was um, I cut it down to size. And it's pretty much the same size as the Cricut mat. It's a little bit longer because my mat was a my placement was a little bit bigger but um, it's wonderful and I just what I did the same solution and I just stroked it on I made sure it was super clean first and then I put it on uh, one coat and I let it dry and then um, just the text that tested the tackiness depending how diluted you make it you might want to add another coat just to make it a little bit stronger and I'm gonna show you how it works and I hope you guys like it there I am um, and you'll see how much money you can save and it's a lot more easier and the good thing is when it gets untacky I use nail polish remover to remove it very gently and the glue just slides right off and it's wonderful and you just retack it again just like the regular Cricut mats so I hope you guys stay tuned to see it work in my Cricut machine alright guys um, I have the paper ready to go it's gonna be loaded in a minute I just wanted to mention that you might want to draw lines on the border where the glue 
ends, make sure you don't put the glue all the way to the end. Just leave a little border or you can draw a border or tape a border off so that way you have the non-sticky edge around it. Um, my mat is uh, slightly glossy so um, it's fine and um, it's going to work wonders I hope. Um, I did this mat really quickly so I hope um, it's going to come out alright but normally it comes out perfect. Um, so hopefully I tax it enough. Sometimes if you don't tax it enough, it's way too sticky and your paper sticks way too tight. So um, let's get started. So I'm just going to load my paper right there. Whoops. I didn't push the paper enough. Hold on. Let's see. Load paper. Now I already have a previous cut in there I can show you. I'm just going to move my blade over just in case. Um... So I'm just going to do a cut, and hopefully it'll come out perfect. Let's see. It's not letting me repeat last. There we go. Let's cut. As you can see, it's not slipping and sliding. It's actually sticking very well. So if you do, if you do have a good mat, um, and you don't want to make your own, just use the tack in over and over again. It's fantastic. So, um, I'm just going to put my camera down so I can take this off. Maybe not. I can hold it. Sometimes it doesn't work really well. So, let me just try to get this off. Yeah, I think I needed to tax it a little bit more since it's still brand new. So, that's still okay. And there you go. And there's your cut. And it came out perfect. I mean, uh, my paper is not thick so it's kind of wonky but that's all right there you go and yeah have fun making your own cricket mats and save yourself bundles of money um 10 to 15 dollars for two mats um yeah so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial leave me a comment subscribe whatever you need to do all right um like i said just get a good um placemat that's similar in thickness in your uh, cricket mat so that would be perfect. All right, if you have any questions, leave me a comment or PM me, whatever. Um, I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye.